But anyway. Okay, so you have two options right now. You can either ask us the questions that you want to ask us, or I can tell you this, the funniest story you've ever heard well, in your life. Well, what do you reckon? About. I'm going to chuck these, <laughs> these questions out. Okay. Go for it. So. This man can tell a story. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> So ages ago, in 1998, there was an OzFest in England, that mm -hmm. Milton Keynes Bowl. Corn were supposed to play on it, and Corn canceled, right? But it was like Ozzy and Slayer and Anthrax and Pantera and like all these crazy the heavy bands. So Corn back out. They can't do the gig. So we Sabbath, get the call. Sabbath. It wasn't Ozzy. It was Sabbath. Sabbath. So we get the call. Hey, will you guys fill in for Corn? We're like, oh my God, <laughs> what, you're crazy. Like, we're not a metal band. We'll get killed. Like, there's no way. So, but, so we decided to do it. Yeah. So we get down there. We're totally terrified. We walk. We get to the gig. Pantera's playing. And they are the most shredding metal band you've ever seen. There's 60,000 people going fucking bananas. And we got to go on after them. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, my God, this yeah. is nuts. So we go on. And I'm really nervous. And I look around the side of the stage. And as we're playing, I see all those guys from those bands watching us and singing the lyrics to our oh, songs. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, this is amazing. Cool. So afterwards, we make friends with Pantera. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So we make friends with Pantera. And, uh, you know, they're just all about whiskey and yeah. boobs and whatever. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So they, so they give us their card. They have their own strip club. It's called the Clubhouse. It's yeah. outside of Dallas, Texas. Of course they have their own of strip course. club. Of course. I mean, yeah. it's just Who what you do. Yeah. So we're like, he's like, man, and they're from Texas. So they're yeah. like, anytime you all are in Texas, man, you got to come down to the Clubhouse. It's great. And we're like, all right. So we finished the tour. And then I was living in Los Angeles at the time. Um, and I was moving back to Virginia where I'm from. So I put all of my stuff in my house on a truck and Taylor and I jumped in my truck and did this dumb and dumber drive across America, right? <laughs> so we were so excited, and, but we were, were basically- really doing it here? Yeah, this is 1998. We were basically like, we were routing our trip around like where our friends live and where the strip clubs are. I, like, I've got the mental picture. I saw my picture. grandma. <laughs> yeah, like, it was a real family trip. Oh, and yeah. so the first day we're like, whoa, we're doing it, man. We're really doing it. We'd stop in like Barstow. It's like five hours outside of LA to get gas. We get gas and we make it to Phoenix that night. We go to check into the hotel and I had left my wallet on top of this gas <laughs> tank in Barstow. I'm like, oh no, and I don't have credit cards or ID or anything like that. So I call my accountant. I'm like, Ben, just send me a credit card. Like, I, I, I got nothing. So he FedExes one out. We keep driving. And I'm calling the Pantera guys. I'm like, all right, man, we're coming to the clubhouse. We're going to be there like Tuesday night, Tuesday night. And they're like, hell yeah, it's going to be great. So we make this 800-mile detour to get to the clubhouse, to the to the strip club. We go out to dinner with Taylor's family. And they're like, all right, now we're going to go to the strip club. So we go <laughs> out to the clubhouse. And we yeah. get there. And I'm like, oh, this could be the best night of our lives this is gonna be amazing man so we get there and we walk up and the guy's like could i see some id please <laughs> and i'm like oh oh, oh no you don't have your wallet yeah uh well i i don't i lost my wallet on this trip he's like i can't let you in unless you got id i'm like but we're we're friends with pantera he's like everybody's friends with pantera <laughs> i was like oh my god and we didn't get in no, no way we didn't fucking get oh in man no, i was like, like what the like, have you ever heard the song Smells Like Teen Spirit? <laughs> the guy's like, I'm you sorry, dude. The, I just you can't let you, know you in. I, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I was like, <gasps> went back to the hotel. I was f***ing gutted. I was wow. like, eh. So anyway, so we finished that trip. And <clears throat> as a side note, about four years ago, I was at this. This, this is 10 years later. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is at least 10 years later. I was like at this surf shop in Oxnard, California, just north of Los Angeles. And it was me and I think my daughter and I was buying something and the girl at the counter, she says, are you Dave Grohl? I said, yeah. And she said, did you lose your wallet in Barstow in 1998? No. And I said, yeah. She goes, that was my parents' gas station. I'm like, you're kidding me. She goes, no, they still have your wallet. And I gave her my address and she sent me the wallet with everything in it from 1998. <laughs> that so deserves a round cash. of applause. Seriously. That is awesome.